Hey everybody, how are you? So, I'm just on my way now to pick some strawberries at a local enough, <laughs> local enough, I've been cycling for a half an hour, a uh, strawberry farm. And here I am in Ireland, the, 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 the country roads, very beautiful, I've took, taken some pictures, I'll upload them as part of this video if you haven't seen them already. It's gorgeous here. I've, I've never gone strawberry picking or fresh fruit picking before in my life, so it's also three times cheaper or two and a half times cheaper, a euro per punnet. Really delicious, there's no spray on them. So that's great. So I thought this would be fun just to make a little video for a second. Here I am in my little shorts, my sockless shoes, getting a bit of tan. Okay, so I found the place now, and it's what I checked on Google Maps uh, back there, and I even looked in this house on Google Maps. So I'm here now. I accidentally went past a landmark, and I had to cycle back for five minutes or less. So very close. Met a lovely man. It was all a really nice trip. So I hope you guys are getting out of nature, getting the fresh air, sunshine. I have a nice tan. I just sunbathe for hours whenever I can, within reason, and listen to my body to try and get out of the sun before I get too hot or red. I love the Irish countryside, it's so pretty and beautiful. So I hope you're enjoying wherever you live and even if it's a city. I live, before I came to the country, I live in the city centre of Dublin on the fifth floor of a really busy area. <laughs> I still had fun and enjoyed myself, went to the shops, had a laugh with the people. Doesn't matter where you are guys, don't, don't, don't uh, develop an excuse system, you know. Oh look at those flowers. Pretty. That's so nice. So don't develop an excuse, just be happy. That's my number one advice in life. Get here and enjoy the now and be happy regardless. And when you get happy, no matter what you don't like in your life that you're hoping to change, if you get happy in the meantime where you are, it'll help transition to the change that you want. So even if you're gonna stay in a job you don't like for another few weeks or less or more, at least if you get happy, then it's it's almost a job you don't like don't like too much. It's not like you, you hate it anymore necessarily, but you know you're not staying there forever. So get happy in the meantime. And I think this is where I am now. So lots of love, guys, and I'll see you in a second, okay? Because I'll probably put the camera on in a minute. So I think there are strawberries there. Cool. Strawberry patch. Okay, everyone saw it, isn't it? Show you some of the strawberries up close. This beautiful farm down the country in Ireland. Now, yeah, let's go closer. <laughs> There's some of my stuff. I'm just getting some sunlight. I'm just trying to look for my tray. Ah, can't find it anywhere. There we go. But uh, yeah, this is like amazing in here, man. It's like a forest, a jungle, actually, to be honest. You can see all like strawberries, like hidden, and they're oh, they're just gorgeous, guys. I can't tell you how nice they are. Like just oh, so many strawberries. I cannot believe how many strawberries there are. Really, they're really, really delicious. I gotta tell you, and it's, for one tray, it's only like one euro, I think. So these are like tasty, man. I'm telling you, really, really tasty. I really recommend going to a fruit farm and picking some fresh fruit. Really tasty. And the ones I find are the nicest typically have a little bit of uh, eaten by an animal, like an insect, maybe a smidge, or else it's just like natural decay. Yeah, maybe it's just like naturally oh, turned very ripe. And the other ones that are very nice are the big plump ones that are red. So, put them in there. So there you go. So this is the fun of picking your own strawberries. <laughs> Very tasty. Here's one that has that ripe look, you see. It does underneath the skin, it's like changing as if it's like breaking open. That's when it's like 
delicious, typically. Let's taste it. Super tasty. That's really sweet. Very nice and tasty. Incredible. Compared to the stuff you buy in the shop, it's like ridiculously better. It's like incredible. Here's one I found. It's like breaking open like I was talking about. You can eat the green parts too, by the way. Doesn't look as red as some of the others, but it's the most flavorful. Very, very tasty and sweet. Ooh. I'll put my top on soon. Now, guys, wish you could be here at me, all a few hundred of you. <laughs> now, so do go and try and pick your own strawberry someday, or any fruit farm. Such a nice holistic experience. It took me ages to cycle here, but it was such a nice trip down the country, I just enjoyed myself and took my time. So, I highly encourage to get healthy, happy nature, fruit, and don't eat when you're not hungry, generally. Drink a lot of water if you're hungry, or a little bit of water, or whatever amount of water if you're thirsty or hungry. I mean, do it if you're hungry, but if you're not hungry, don't start stuffing yourself, because that's what I've been doing lately, and I've had loads of energy. In fact, I cycled. Around an hour, and a, an hour and 25 minutes, and I hardly ate anything. But now I'm having strawberries because I built up my appetite, which is like that's when your digestive system's had a really good break, and you can really enjoy the meal so much more and digest and assimilate it better because you're not overburdening your system with excessive amounts of food. Okay, bye for now, everyone. Take care and lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, give me a share, like, and comment. Otherwise, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> In this video, I just want to say thank you, God, Source, all that is for the Earth. Thank you for the beautiful plants. Thank you for my beautiful strawberries that are a gift from all the beautiful strawberry trees. Strawberry trees growing the branches. Thanks for my feet, my earth, my eyes, my arms, the sun on my back. sharp things in there. So blessed and grateful to be here. Got everything. Sun, air. All I didn't get was water. Got the fire of the sun. The earth energies of the land and the earth. The plants. The fresh air. And the galactic energies from above. So this is a massive strawberry. Just un unbelievable. I never thought just looking at this how many strawberries are there. Just forever, man. Forever. They're so tasty. And here's some pineapple weed. I feel like some pineapple weed. <laughs> this is a member of the chamomile family and it tastes like pineapple. Like chamomile pineapple flavour. And smell. Mm. Nice. I've, I've made tea for that before, so I hope you all enjoy this video again, as I already said. So. Oh man, it's so nice. So God bless you and I hope you have a lovely day. And wishing you best of health and body health, body, mind, spirit, and always. And have a happy time with your family and friends and to appreciate your life, your body, all your materials and blessings, your health, and if all the free things in life which are kind of in many ways the best. <laughs> Relationships, etc. Relations with people. And just looking on a glorious day like today. But even if it's rainy guys we can still get here now and enjoy get here and enjoy the now and be happy as buddhism sometimes say we ha there's enough for us to be happy already we just have to pay attention to the present moment our breath and our things what's here and to feel gladness and appreciation for it so got blessings and farewell from the ireland island of ireland and i'll see you again another time another video until then Lots of love from Owen. Bye. So everyone, I'm going to go home now. And it's been fantastic. And here's my bag. It's like probably around 13 kilograms. I have one packet of grapes, one big white cabbage, some stuff from I got from the health shop, and then two big, two huge like punnets of strawberries that we emptied them into. So, so yeah, I'll fit this on my back. I've... Maybe it's like 
12 kilos, I don't know. I've carried six over 16 kilos before on my back, so this should be easy enough, not too difficult. The lovely lady gave me some water, and she gave me a really special, extra special price. Not just special, but an extra special price and all the strawberries, which just felt right to her, and I'm really blessed and thankful to have that, so. And then I gave her one of my packets of grapes, because it may not fit in my bag, to be honest. But anyway, it's always nice to be tying a bit of energy exchange, so.